So this reading is only, it's very, it's very much, uh, I do it by what I have from English translation. It's not what I have, but it's also great. I think I like it. So. I just want to tell you. So, so I wrote this poem and it's already, I think it's a lot about me loving Roberto Bolano, the writer from Chile. Um, and we were the savage poets. And we were the savage poets. We founded poetry groups and we published our journals and we met to walk together to create poetry shows. In every interview or mention, we were filled with self-importance. And we didn't know that one day we will get pregnant, pregnant, we will teach each other and we will be scattered. We will calculate how much it costs us to be the savage poets. And we didn't understand that one day we will divorce each other, we will be depressed, we will be depressed, we will look for a new job in new fields and we will immigrate from the poetry continent to the fiction continent and we won't be entitled to get words loans from letters bank. And what scared us most is that we will be forgotten completely, that will come new generation who won't know and recognize our self-importance. And even though in a rare moment an academic scholar in Paris comes back to one of the lost journals that we edited. She's sitting down in the, in the university library in the Sorbonne and opens the journal, leaving, cleaning the dust from the page, searching in the internet when died the poet who wrote this poem. <laughs>